As we explore the impact of the growing space economy and communities back on Earth, South Africa's space trajectory offers an interesting case study. I'm Mamalang Mamela, and this is Space for Humans. <laughs> Like many nations in the Global South, South Africa historically had a resource-based economy. That means their economy was heavily reliant on the extraction and export of natural resources, such as minerals and metals. This economic framework, while lucrative, is full of challenges. In South Africa, social inequalities were exacerbated by the legacy of the country's apartheid system, which was a policy of racial segregation and discrimination enforced by the white nationalist government between 1948 and the early 1990s. This system legally institutionalized racial divisions and restricted the rights of the majority black population, mandating separate living areas, separate educational and separate healthcare facilities, and limiting the political representation and employment of opportunities of all non-white South Africans. In the face of these challenges, South Africa has embarked on an ambitious journey to pivot from a resource-based economy to a knowledge-based economy. That's a big paradigm shift. It means leveraging knowledge, research and development to transition to a model where sustainable growth is driven not by what we take out of the world, but what we put in it. That means harnessing intellectual capital, human knowledge, skill and innovation. And not only is the university system helping South Africa in that transition, the university system is also playing a large role in addressing the historical inequalities created by the apartheid system. It offers equal opportunities to all students from different backgrounds to pursue educational opportunities, and that is currently helping to create a black middle class. The space sector has been a vital part of this journey. In 2010, the South African National Space Agency, SANSA, was established with the mission to provide leadership in unlocking the potential of space for the advancement and benefit of humanity. In launching a space industry, South Africa sought to lay the groundwork for a more sustainable and innovative future. A pivotal element here came in 2012 with South Africa's involvement in the Square Kilometer Array SKA project. The SKA, one of the largest scientific endeavors in astronomy, aims to build the world's largest radio telescope. And while this project does focus on scientific achievement, for South Africa, it acted as a catalyst for educational and economic development. Specifically, it supported the development of a robust educational infrastructure capable of producing a workforce skilled in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM. For example, the SKA requires a significant number of PhD level radio astronomers, far more than the country had at the project's inception. To meet this demand, South Africa has bolstered its educational programs in astronomy and related fields. It's a powerful demonstration of how ambitious scientific projects can stimulate growth in educational systems. SKA simultaneously offered an opportunity to grow the university system, connect graduates with large-scale public projects, and kickstart the private sector, essentially developing an interdependent and interconnected set of institutions that could sustain long-term growth. By participating in cutting-edge research, South Africa is creating opportunities for its scientists, engineers, and students alike. One cool example of how the educational sector supports the private sector can be seen in the company called CubeSpace. CubeSpace is a spin-out of Stellenbosch University that manufactures the Cube ADCS, a technology that focuses on the stability and control of spacecraft in orbit. The focus on small satellites is particularly strategic for countries with emerging space programs. These projects are less costly and have shorter development cycles, making them accessible for nations looking to break into the space industry. They also offer practical benefits, like improving telecommunications and weather forecasting. And they're useful as educational tools too, allowing students and researchers to engage directly with space technology. These initiatives underscore the symbiotic relationship between government investment, the private sector, and education. By investing in space science and technology, South Africa is not merely aiming for economic diversification. It's also fostering an environment where collaboration and innovation can flourish. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more Space for Humans.